It's simple. You go to work, you come home, you spend time with your family, you might even volunteer in the community. You get involved, you contribute. It's expected. It's part of being human. What you don't expect is to be killed on the job, and you don't expect to get sick or injured because of your work. Patricia calls herself a water warrior. She was an environmental activist. She used to work outdoors. A work injury ended that. It seemed fitting that we meet in Rouge Park to honor her father and what she lost. My father died from uh, asbestos-related lung cancer. He was a diesel mechanic. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, his union was educating the membership that they could potentially be bringing asbestos home on their coveralls and stuff from mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. And then he got a diagnosis in early September of a cancer and he died within eight weeks. Yeah. Emotionally, of course, we were reeling. My father died on my brother's birthday. So even that, every year on my brother's birthday, it was never like a happy day. It was always a sad reminder that our father had died on that day. My father was a hockey coach. He coached uh, t-ball. He was very involved in our sports as kids growing up, me and my brother. He was always one of these people, and I think a big part of it comes from the, the Canadian experience. He was very much for people getting the most they could out of life, to explore opportunities. To help people out. I got a sense of community from the sports involvement. I honor my father by standing up for what's right, even though that may be uncomfortable or that I may not want to do it. I almost feel compelled to represent and be my father's daughter that all the goodness that came out of his employment out of him being my father they created the conditions in me enabled me to stand up for what was right mm -hmm. and to sometimes have to put my neck out on the line mm -hmm. where others can't He also told me never let being a woman stand in the way of what you need to do in life. And I think those were very, very important words to instill on, in a young woman mm -hmm. at that time. At that time especially. Absolutely. My injury has impacted the kind of activism I do. I remember running into an injured worker woman on a Friday night after work, you know, like in the rush hour, and she was in pretty bad shape. And so I went home with her and we had something to eat and we spent five hours together. Just spending that time with her, I felt in a way that I was feeling a need because she really needed somebody to be there with her and to support her in her difficult time. But at the same time, I came away feeling like a stronger individual that I'd helped somebody in a very emotional time. Like I recognized the emotional frailty 